Have you ever wanted to set a ticketing system on your WordPress website? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing how you can implement a ticketing system into your WordPress website where people can come to your website, submit a ticket, you can respond to that. You can assign agents to respond to tickets. You can even charge people to submit a ticket as well. So let me just go to my website right, really quickly. So here, this is like a general uh, interface of what your ticketing system will look like where users can actually create a ticket, you can reply to tickets, you can close tickets, and users right here can see the chat, et cetera. So right here, you can kind of see the status of the tickets closed. We have the agent and we have the category as well. So we'll talk all about this today in this video. Uh, so over here, I'll go to uh, get support. This is my demo website right here, click on get support. And right here, we click on create a ticket. Now, as an admin, I can create my own tickets. Now, if you are new to the website, people can actually come to your site, register, and make their own ticket as well. Let me give you an example. So I'm gonna go over here to my uh, my my other website, or the same website, I'm just not logged in, obviously. So let's say, for instance, you got a customer and they want to get support. So right here, I'll click on get support, and I don't have an account as a customer, so I wanna say, yeah, I need an account, guys. So right here, I'll click on create account, and you can change the color of all this, you can change, all of these settings right here. So we'll talk more about that in the video. But right here, I'll put, um, you know, I'll put in something right here. Uh, I'll just put in something. All right, and then we'll go ahead and use the wrong password. And then right here, I'll click on register. Now right here, I can see uh, it's saying, okay, create a ticket, okay. So right here, I'll click on next. Now, these are the categories that I created for my customers. So for example, right here, we have general support, refunds, and WooCommerce issues. So right here, I'll say, I just need general support. I need a general support service. Here, I'll click on next, and then I'll say, uh, plugin doesn't work. Plugin doesn't work well. And then I'll say, it doesn't work with uh, uh, archive pages. I, I don't know, archive pages, something like that. And then right here, I'll click on create a ticket. Now, right here, you can kind of see that the customer has submitted a ticket. You will be notified via email and they'll be notified via email as well. When you respond to the ticket, they will also be notified via email so they can go ahead and go back to the ticket. And then you can also you know, respond to it and you can close it, et cetera. So this is a plugin. In fact, the Slider Revolution uh, uh, support services, Theme Punch, they use this same specific plugin. So it is a really good plugin. You know, I, I did go around, I used a few. I came across this one right here and I felt that this one was probably one of the best for the tutorials. And the name of this plugin is called Fast. Now there is a link below to purchase this plugin if you decide to use it. Um, it's only around 39 bucks and you get your whole platform or you can assign a page. It's really nice. They have a lot of documentation as well, but I'll kind of, I'll go ahead and run you through the basic uh, settings that you need to have in order for this plugin to work. So go ahead and download it. I already have it downloaded. And once you do that, give them a give them a four star. You know, they did a really good job with this plugin. I, I really liked it, you know. So let's go to my website right here and go to my dashboard. So you'll need to upload the plugin once you purchase it from Envato. Now, once you purchase it right here, you'll see fast support. So this right here is the support page. So what you'll need to do first is create a page for this specific platform. So right here, you can kind of see I have all these pages right here. So basically go ahead and go to plus new, go to page, create a page, and then assign it to that specific page. And uh, once you do that, then you'll actually have the ability to see this same form right here. So you can see right here, that's my URL is support. And right here, I select the support page. So that's basically where this is, why this is showing up. So once you do that, you'll get several options. Now there's a few things that you need to do for this plugin to actually work. Uh, one of the things that you need to do is go down to your settings and go to general. And right here, we'll click on a new user default rule and click on customer uh, ticket customer. So basically saying the people that register for our website, this is for support, support services and they will be customers. So that is very important. In fact, I don't think the plugin will work without you setting that, so make sure you set it. Uh, also make sure anyone right here can register as well and then click on save changes. All right, so we've done that. Now I'm just gonna kind of go through the general options just to kind of familiarize you all with the options and what they mean. So right here, available ticket types, we have general tickets. You can always go ahead and create other specific tickets, other categories, but for most of us, we'll probably just use one general setting. Uh, right here, uh, users can uh, make their, uh, use private tickets or public tickets. Uh, agents can create tickets, so I'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Um, all these options right here, you know, you can kind of, you can kind of read these and kind of understand, uh, you know, what they are, etc. Uh, right here, the logo image, so that's going to be the image 
that they first see when they sign up for your website. So on the left side, or on, when you go to um, supports or your whatever page you pick, it's going to display your logo on the front. So that's going to be the first thing they see. So make sure to upload your logo there. Um, you can go ahead and you know check out these other options. These are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the registration page. So this is actually the registration page on when people. Um, let me go ahead and go back over here. I'm gonna go ahead and log out just to kind of show you the actual page. So this right here is the registration page. So this right here is the logo again. So that's where the logo is going to show up. So right here it says, are you having trouble? Have no fear. We are here for you. Uh, right here, I'll click on um, create account. So right here, have no trouble, have no fear. We are uh, here for you. That's what this page is talking about right here. You want to make sure that users can enable registration on your website because without that, there's no way they can get support, right? Uh, if you do have terms and uh, terms of service and agreement, you'll go ahead and check this box and say yes, and then you can go ahead and put in your link or wherever you want it to go for your policy in terms of service. Uh, if you want to enable a Google reCAPTCHA, you can go ahead and put it right there. The login page. So the login page again was the first page that you saw, and right here, welcome to the support ticket. Please log in using the form. Um, you can go ahead and decorate that as well. You can change the background right there. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and see what we should do next. So. Basically, the thing, the first thing we should probably do is we're going to make some agents and then we'll make some ticket categories, which is probably everything that you need right here. So over here under users, we'll click on add a new user. Now, your agents are the people or whoever you're assigning this to will be responsible for handling the tickets, right? So I'm going to put um, paddywhack and then paddywhack at gmail.com. Now these are the agent's names, so people can visually see this. So make sure it's something that looks professional and good. Uh, right here under the role, I wanna say that this is the ticket agent. So ticket agents and ticket managers have the ability to answer the tickets, right? So I'm gonna say, okay, this is now a ticket agent. So right here, I'll click on add a new user. So this person can now basically handle the, um, here, I'll just uh, patty whackers. I, I already made it, I was messing around with this earlier. <laughs> there you go. So. Here you can kind of see that we have a, a ticket customer right here. So we have a, uh, I'm sorry, a ticket agent. You know, it's really funny that this guy actually registered on my website. I have no idea who he is. So <laughs> some guy registered on my website for support and I asked me for something. And I was like, dude, like I, I'm not a support service, dude. It's just for tutorial purposes, you know? Uh, so right here, this agent can now actually respond to people that are having problems with whatever and they submit a ticket. This person can actually have the power to answer those tickets. Now over here under tickets, we'll click on tickets right here. So these are actually where the tickets show up. And if you ever want to see the tickets right here, just click on view. And these are basically the tickets of where your ticket agents are handling stuff. So you can always kind of drop in, see what's going on, see the full story. So this is basically where you're going to find your tickets. Um, categories, now this is probably one of the more important parts. So in the beginning right there where, we, where I signed up where it said general support, refunds, WooCommerce issues, these are where you're going to select the problem categories or uh, problems, I guess you can say, uh, ticket categories. We'll say ticket categories. So uh, what kind of support services are you offering? So right here we have general support, refunds, and WooCommerce issues. So if you want to go ahead and create a category, you'd put in right here. So I'll put it over here. I'll put um, hiring. Maybe, maybe we're hiring here. Now right here, uh, we could put the description of it as well. Set a WordPress user that will be assigned for tickets for this category. You can go ahead and assign one as well. But right here, I'll just click on create a new category. And now we have hiring. So that, that's it's it's just an, uh, an option if you want to, uh, you know, just, just to add categories. So uh, once you do that, you'll click on agents right here. And you can create different level agents. So what that means is basically saying that Maybe you have um, like a junior developers and then you have senior developers and you want them to kind of have like a level, a tier level. In fact, HostGator does the same exact service where they have tiers of agents. You first call them, that's their first line of defense. If you can't figure, if they can't figure that out, then they give it to their development team. That would be agent level one or agent level two, agent level three, et cetera. And right here, you can kind of see that we can select the categories and then you can actually set the users for those specific categories. So that's just, you know, for internal use, it's basically just saying that um, these agents will handle a certain level of support, okay? All right, so once we've done that, we'll go to, uh, let's see, we got the new ticket page right here. These are just basically the pages when they actually submit the new ticket and basically the text of what you want it to say. You probably wanna go ahead and select your company logo. Uh, this right here is the page background image. So this is going to be 
the actual Im the the image of the background. So let me go ahead and uh, give you a better example of that. This right here. All right. I had to use two different browsers because it was hard because I'm logged in as an admin on this one and a customer on the, on the other one. Uh, extra fields, you can go ahead and make extra fields if you choose to do that. Um, that's just something that's an extra option. Uh, user permissions, so this is basically saying what permissions will these specific users have? So obviously right here, the customer's role, they can edit the ticket, they can read the tickets, they can uh, delete it, they can do all sorts of stuff. Here is the agent role and also the uh, manager role as well. I think in the documentation, they have a list of every single command you can do. But this right here is, is it's great for default. You know, customers, they can't, you know, take control of an agent's ticket, you know, and here, right here, you, you can see the agent's power, et cetera. Uh, email options. So again, right here, you can kind of design the email as well. And again, remember that whenever you, you do a support tickets or you respond to one, everyone gets notified. So it's good for you so you can watch your agents and it's good for them because they know that when their ticket gets responded, they'll get an email. And right here, we have Envato integrations. Now, this is a very popular plugin on Envato Market. In fact, a lot of developers actually use this same exact plugin on Envato Market for their support services. So for most of you, you won't need this because you're not uh, Envato uh, uh, developers. Um, here we have Slack integration and also WooCommerce integration as well. So if you decide to you know, um, have like a WooCommerce support section, you can go ahead and do that right here. Uh, email email piping. So right here, you can kind of check that, you know, they'll check emails every 10 minutes. Um, this is basically just says like, you know, the commands for the email. So when do you want someone to be notified via email? When do you not want to be notified? You can kind of mess around with these settings right here. Uh, schedule the maintenance right here. You can kind of go through scheduled maintenance. And right here we have advanced. So for those of you who are very advanced and you know a lot about CSS and you know a lot about development, this is where you can have a lot of fun. But if you're not familiar, just don't touch it. Just don't touch it. And this right here is custom skins where you can go ahead and create your own custom skin and you can have all sorts of fun. I'm not going to go into this right here because this obviously is very advanced and I'm just not going to go through it because this is basically saying if you want to have a full custom form, you can kind of mess around with this. Now, that's the wrong word. It's not... It's not advanced, it's just a lot of work. It's tedious. You have to set this color, this color, this color. But this is where you're going to have your own specific form um, on your on your site. So if you want to have a specific form, color, text, and everything, this is where you're going to do it at, okay? So over here, we go to Fast Support. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at this page right here. So over here, we have Pages and go to All Pages. Now remember, my page is called Support. So right here, I'll click on View. And this is the actual page for the clients. Okay, so right here, support. Now, I'm already logged in. So if I'm not logged in, it's going to actually tell them to log in for your party. So this right here is from a, a company point of view. So right here, if I click on create a ticket, I can actually create a ticket on behalf of an existing customer, or I can go ahead and create it for a new one right here. So right here, I'll go ahead and do, uh, let's see if we can create one for a new one right here. There we go. And right here's the support, the category. Remember how we have different support? So right here, general, hiring, refunds. Remember how we did hiring earlier? So let's just do that one. You know, let's just check it out. Maybe we want to hire this guy. Say what, or send a resume. Hey, send a resume. And we'll make this a private ticket because obviously we're, we're, we're hiring this guy or we're trying to hire him. So this is, this is me right here saying, um, you know, uh, send resume, you know? So that's basically, uh, how you can actually create a ticket on behalf of a client. So we're basically creating a ticket for them, okay? I mean, we probably would never do that, but if uh, a customer emailed us directly and said they have a problem, um, then we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So this right here is kind of the wrong analogy. So this is for the customer. So we're creating a ticket for the customer. So uh, I should have put um, uh, something else there. So that's, that's kind of a bad analogy, but let's say for instance, this person had a problem with something, I just created a ticket on their behalf. Okay, so that's what that means. Okay, hope, hope, hopefully that makes sense, all right? Now let's go ahead and go back over here and let's just pretend that we're a brand new client, all right? So I actually made the form. In fact, let's just go over here to the, um, the website right here. And I'll go ahead and just make a brand new form. So right here, we'll go to tutorial domain. Let's see right here. I'll just go to tutorial domain right here. All right, 
and I'm just basically pretending that I am a brand new client to the website. Now, remember, you wanna take the page and you wanna put that URL somewhere. So right here, I added it in the call to action button and click on get support. Here, I'll say, you know what, I'm not, uh, I'm not a user. I wanna go ahead and create a new account. So right here, I'll put um, uh, Patty Whack and then the Patty Whackers. AOL.com. Nobody uses AOL anymore, you know? And also, you might want to incorporate the Google Captcha because people can actually create a lot of accounts, but I, I don't think that will happen too much because, you know, there's there's nothing that they can gain from this, you know, not even the spammers, so it's, it's it'd be useless for them to do that. But uh, you can do that. And then right here, we have the terms of service and privacy policy. Right here, I'll click on register. All right, here, I'll click on next. I'll say, uh, I, I need a general support. And I'll say, how do I change... How do I change text color? I need help now. And right here, I'll click on create a ticket. So now this is the actual customer. This is the actual person that needs support. Now I'll say that I'm an admin, right? Over here, I'll click on this and I'll go back to my website. All right. And over here in the dashboard, if I go over here to tickets, click on tickets, See right here, the actual ticket now displays and I'll click on view. And now as an admin, I can respond. I'm, I'm gonna say, um, I don't care about you, your problems. All right, and then I'll click on uh, reply. So there you go. Now we have a complete uh, ticketing system. And of course, we can reply to it again and we can close the ticket saying bye. And now you can see that the uh, the ticket is now closed. So the ticket is closed. It's all done. It's all done, and, and everything's good. But that's just an example, guys. So um, also make sure to check their emails. You will get an email. Both people will get an email, so you can always go ahead and check it out. But this is by far probably the best and easiest ticketing system that I've come across using WordPress. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, you can see that we basically did that. Of course, you probably would never want to say these mean things to your customers. I know sometimes you do, you want to, because they're like, I need help right now. This isn't working. And you're just like, oh God, you know. So to those support guys, you know, we should have like a, a customer, uh, w uh, web design customer support day where we acknowledge people that are handling support requests because people that are in the support request business probably get a lot of crap from people a lot. So I know how it is, you know, but uh, hopefully this video will help. Let me know if you have any questions about the fast plugin. Make sure to give this author a five star rating because it's a great plugin. Make sure to put in the comments below uh, anything you want to let me know. All right, like this video, share it, and I'll see you all in the next video.